I've been studying the neurobiology of opioid use disorder for many years and looking at the molecular changes in the brains of people who died from opioid use disorder, we have obtained a lot of information that has helped guide our preclinical animal studies into where we should be focusing in, in the medications that we're trying to develop and coming up with novel treatments that are non-opioid, non-addictive treatments. So one of the medications that we're looking at that stemmed in part from our animal work is cannabidiol, CBD. We showed many years ago before CBD became very popular that in our animal models, it could, one, decrease heroin-seeking behavior. It could, two, reverse some of the neurobiological changes that heroin induced. And using CBD, we then went to small clinical trials, and now we have the opportunity with HEAL to truly see with large clinical trials whether or not CBD could be a potential treatment for opioid use disorder. And that's one of the things I think that HEAL has allowed us to do is being more bold and unconventional.